For me, one of the one of the huge benefits of doing the MBA was not just what you learned from the lecturers formally, but you also learned just as much from your classmates. I think the whole experience was fantastic because even 20 odd years later, we're all still connected and good friends. I was part of the MBA rugby team and this year we went to Danville and lifted the World Cup. So I think that was the most favorite memory of mine. For me, I was very lucky. Our class were very close and I also had the opportunity to represent Smurfit at the Molson Case competition in Canada. Finding an extra gear that I didn't know I had and meeting a really great, great group of people. My best memory is lectures with uh, Professor Pat Gibbons, just kind of, um, you know, when we looked through the case study methods and applying them to real world experience, it was just wonderful. When you go internationally, especially to America, it opens doors because everybody is MBA conscious. Yeah. So it's, um, it's, it was fantastic. For me, I came from a technical background. I, was, I studied engineering originally at an undergraduate level. So it, it definitely broadened my horizon from a business perspective, which was a very deliberate step on my behalf. I think the MBA for me was an opportunity to round out my leadership experience. Uh, I had done a lot in my functional area, but it definitely gave me a much broader lens and it's been an opportunity for me to move on and develop my leadership skills. I think the MBA is amazing. It's such a diverse group of people and yeah, I'm really happy. I love Dublin. It has been fantastic. I find this program to be very, very practical. The amount of exposure we get to industry and even next year we are going to go to different international countries to do the consulting project. Probably the biggest thing it gave me was, was confidence. It, it, you know, it broadened um, broaden my horizons in terms of exposure to different areas, but you know, it's, it was the confidence to take on anything really after. The whole emphasis is strategy and uh, I think it sharpens everybody's focus, be it in your personal life, your business life or whatever. It gave me a language to communicate better with senior management in my company. It has opened up opportunities for me. I was recently a finalist for Transformation Leader of the Year and I believe that my MBA with Smurfit really contributed to that. It's been hugely beneficial. I think anybody who does the Smurfit MBA will say it's not just the academic benefits that you get. The soft skills that it teaches you, it's something I would recommend anybody to do, to do go to Smurfit. Very beneficial for me and I'm, I'm still using the stuff I learned in 2014 today on a daily basis. And you know sometimes I think I wish I could do it again because I would learn so much more. <laughs> Why did I come here tonight? I wouldn't have missed this for the world. I got a chance to have this grand night before my exams begin the next week. I can't miss a chance to wear a fancy dress and a lipstick. <laughs> it's Christmas time <laughs> and then we have yeah and then we have the exam next week and then we just hold my, most of my classes here and then we just say okay let's do a bit relaxing before we have the exams. So I want to meet my friends, I want to meet uh, my future friends, I want to network. Probably about a dozen people from the class here tonight so we just thought it was a good time to meet again and to kick off the Christmas season. Just hoping to reunite with some old friends and uh, make some new connections. The speaker tonight is about to be a key player in telecom. I'm keen to hear from him on leadership and how he's managed to build up his business and influence people. Technology today not only doesn't reward incremental change, it doesn't allow incremental change. So if you want to change your life, you want to change your business, you want to change your industry, in today's world you better dig deep. And you better be prepared to use the left side of your brain and the right side of your brain, the creative side and the analytical side. In my opinion, you forget your weaknesses and you double down on your strengths. You count to five and you jump in because it's moving way, way, way too fast.